you've had enough of smoking nasty cigarettes. I know a bloke from Yorkshire who will tell it like it is. He's got the best advice and you should listen when he says, Don't smoke cigarettes, vape it with layers. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for joining me on this most miserablyest of nights. I don't know if that's a real word, but miserablyest, but it is, it's absolutely chucking it down out there. Uh, well, anyway, I've been in shop today, I've been doing various bits and pieces, and uh, something that arrived today is these, Liam's ordered these. And I've not seen these before, now I don't know if they're new or if they've been out a while, but it's, it's the first time I've seen them. And it's the Vupo PMP Pod Tank. Now, this is the first of many, I suspect, of the pod systems where you can you can actually buy it now as a tank rather than this little device. So this is intended for you to be able to use the same coils that this takes in a tank form. Do you know what I mean? So that's basically what this is. It, this is a little tank that uses these coils. PMP coils. So, let me just uh, get rid of my little pile. And what I'm going to be using in it today is this new juice which is called Pinaco. It's a strange name and it's because it's made with the flavour of peanut butter and tobacco. So, Pinaco. Actually, it's peanut butter, tobacco, custard. There's net tobaccos in it and all sorts of things. Absolutely beautiful. That's what I'm going to be vaping on him. So, we'll uh, zoom in here. The price on these, by the way, they're only about 11 quid, which is, you know, bearing on the, oh, in mind the quality, which you'll see in a second, but for basically 11 quid, you're going to get two coils because the two coils comes inside this, and they're usually about £3.50 a piece, aren't they? So, you have seven quid with the coils. Uh, so, for 11 quid, I don't think you can go, you can go wrong, can you? Anyway, I'll show you this on the uh, close-up camera. So that's the, the box look, yeah? Now, it says on here black. We've only got black. But I'm assuming it comes in other colours, otherwise why put black? So I'm assuming it comes in probably clear or white or something. Um, that's what it says on the side. One pod, one user manual. You've got a 0.3 ohm coil and a 0.15 ohm coil. The, I think the 0.3 ohm coil is for mouth to lung and the 0.15 is for direct to lung, I believe. Might have got that wrong way around, I don't think so. Let's have a look inside, see what you're going to get for your 11 quid. That's how it comes, look. You've got one of each coil indicated as to which one by the colour of that band. So you've got a red one and a black one. The black one is 0.15, that's the direct to lung, and the red one is 0.3 for mouth to lung. Alright, little packet of silica in there to keep it dry. And that's your tank look. I mean, it's not a bad looking thing is it? It's not a bad looking thing at all. It's got airflow control in it at the bottom so you can just you know turn it what you do when you've got over it anyway like that so you can do that with it straightforward 510 nice integrated drip tip it's all one sort of bell cap and to get into this you just pull it it's magnetic it's actually got a magnetic top look there's four little batteries there and this is your tank obviously where your coil goes, uh, that's your base, and it's pretty, I mean, you can squeeze this, I'm squeezing it, and I can't bend it, so it's, you know, it's pretty rigid stuff, so I'm a bit concerned that this might be a bit tinny and just, like, clapped, but it it's, it's pretty good stuff, and this tank seems to be made out of a kind of polycarbonate material, so I don't know if it'll crack with some juices, you know how polycarbonate tends to crack with some juices, uh, so that's the basic uh, system of it. And once you put your coil in, which goes in there, I'll show you that in a sec, this is how you fill it. You lift that little rubber bung and you put your nozzle in there and fill it up that way. You see? 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the 0.15 in it. Yeah, 0.15. And they're always sealed like this. And this simply shoves in there. Like that. I don't know if it's shaped. That's, so that's in. That's as, that's as much in as it goes. Right, and then we put the juice in there. Right, and there's a little hole. So let me get me get me new juice, pinaco. <laughs> now somebody suggested to me, while in the roll in the floor, somebody suggested to me that I take a little bit of tip off the end of this bottle because it does uh, be a little bit thin. You know, for squeezing it out. So I'm just going to take a bit off. Like that. Maybe a bit more. Like that. Of course, it might leak all over there. <laughs> so let's get this tank filled up. I've got a little flap up. Get the nozzle in. Oh, yeah, that's coming up a lot better. Now I've actually got 70-30 juice in here, but it's a little bit warm because I've only just made it. And so it might act like 60-40 or 50, even 50-50, you know, in terms of how thick it is. But un under normal circumstances, I tell people uh, that this kind, of, this kind of outfit, go for 60-40. It's, it's a decent compromise for any of these little kit time things. Right, so now we've got it filled up, we can just drop that in there, and that's it. That's done. Easy as that. That is good, isn't it? And it's a pretty strong magnet, it's that. Now then, there's bubbles coming out, can you see that? See the bubbles? That's a good sign. That means that the air in the wick is coming out and being replaced by juice going into it. Which is what you do when you leave it. That's the purpose of leaving it to stand a bit. Yeah, the bubbles coming. So, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to take my uh, existing tank off. Screw this one on. Now, I'm just going to pulse it just to, just to see what it's reading. It's what it's reading. So that's pretty good, isn't it? That was fairly accurate. Put that there in a sec. There's not much else I can show you about that in the tank. It is, it is what it is. That's how it looks on this trusted device of mine. Um, it's a lovely little thing. If you've, if you're already into pods, but you want something, or you get the op option of buying somebody perhaps a second-hand square mod, that's an option for you to be able to use up them coils, isn't it? You know what I mean? universal use like anyway now we've got it filled up let's come back to the main camera and we'll have a vape so there it is it's all ready I'm just going to have a slurp of my coffee I'm gagging oh absolutely gorgeous you also get in this um, in this kit. It's not a kit; it's just the box. Like you get the uh, little destruction manual in various languages, uh, which basically shows you what I've just told you. I'll tell you the size of it if you're interested. Uh, the size is 26 by 50 millimeters, or 26 by 44 millimeters if it's the EU edition. The capacity is four and a half mil. That's the standard edition. 2mm, that's the EU edition. The material is PCTG, which must be polycarbonate, duh, 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 duh. I don't know what the da 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 is. Um, the thread 510 kit included PMP VM1, which is the 0.3 ohm, 
and a PMP VM6, which is the 0.15 ohm. So that's what you get in the kit. I don't know, because you want to give you a little dive. Very good. I think that it's extremely good value for money for that kind of that kind of kind. But how does it vape? Well, let's give it a go. I'm going to up the airflow a little bit. I'm just going to give it a low pulse. So I'm going to start this. I'm not at 70 watts. I just watts. Okay. So we're going to go down. I'm going to start it at 20. See if it's like it or not. I think the uh, GoPro is around about 40, isn't it? But I like to start down at the bottom just to see what's you know, sort of burning. Because a lot you'd be surprised how many people come in, stick a coil straight in and fire it without even giving it a second. You know, to uh, to absorb into the cotton. I say you're gonna burn it. No, be alright, be alright. And you can smell it burning cotton, you know. Say, well you've ruined that now. Right, so we've got it on 20 watts. Just, just a little quick puff. This is just to, all I'm doing here is making sure that I'm not going to burn that wick. I'm just pulling ever such a gentle amount of juice, under pressure if you like, into it. Usually when you do like the, uh, the cotton bubbles again, you can see it. Right, so let's crank this baby up. I just what's okay. So we're going to go to, let's try to 30. 30.5. You can't fault that, can you? That's only at 30 watts. And I've got the air hole about half, just less than half. Let me turn it up again. Going up to 40 watts. Back up 40 watts. This is, I think it's generally about here that they, the, um, go on. Lupo, uh, then she fires that. Most of them. It's coming out of there. It's extremely flavoursome. Well, we all know how good the, uh, the Lupo coils are. They are pretty good like that. Um, I'm going to crack it up even, even further. Let's try that. Right at 50. I don't know what these watch to go up to, I don't know if it's in that box. That's at 50. And you know how I like it nice and cool. This is just sort of um, early on the edge of room temperature rather than cold. Do you know what I mean? Just get in there. You can see how dense it is, it just dropped off. I'll do it that way so you can see it. I mean, I'm not breathing it out quick to make it, you know, I'm just breathing it out kind of thing. I think that's superb for 11 quid. For me, 50 watts is is the sweet spot for this, for me. The, the, uh, the, as you can see, the density of it means that the flavour of it is intense. So you can call this Tanko Intenso. I mean, you can see it, can't you? Oh, it's dropping. It's not a little fluffy cloud. It's not that I wanted to produce a big cloud, not want to show a big cloud, but, but the density of it, like I said, carries the dense flavour with it. Because that's really all it's about, what it's all about. The particles in that dense vapour are much smaller and the more compact. And each one of them particles is carrying a little bit of flavour. So it's like an aero. So the more bubbles you've got popping in your mouth, the more flavour they're delivering to it. So that's why it's... Uh... Now then, 
I'm going to tell you about this Pinaco. I did this one for Alan. Alan asked me to do this one. Um, now, in this one, I included smooth organic American Virginia, right? Uh, flu cured, so it's not smoky, it's flu cured. Uh, it's a sweet vape, but there's no sweetener in it, it's just entirely the sugar it is from the tobacco leaves themselves. Um, I've got peanut butter in here, and there's also some vanilla custard and some additional deeper vanilla flavours. I'm not saying it's vanilla -y. It's more nutty, do you know what I mean? With an undertone of this this um, sweet tobacco. It's like sweet tobacco. Well, you just see, don't you? The way that the peanut butter manifests itself in this, if you can imagine the flavour as being a football. Imagine the flavour of being a football in shape, you know, the, the taste of it. In the centre of that, right in the centre of that, you've got peanut butter. And it sort of radiates out. But it gets it gets gentler as it's going. The further out it gets, the thinner it gets the flavour. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of a core, but it's not in your face, but you can taste it. With everything else is kind of floating around it. Tell you now, don't even want me vape. When it's going in on the end, on the inhale, as it's hitting my tongue, because this is how I tend to vape, I, I tend to try and make it so it's a jet rather than, than expanding it in my mouth fully as I breathe in. You know, like that, I, I prefer to have the jet that I'm sucking hit one spot on my tongue and in that way that little spot picks up all the flavours and from that I can taste it much better. Or it, could be the, it could be the front of my tongue but I don't just let it go in, I, it has to hit a wall to sort of um, produce its flavour there. What am I saying? When it's going on the end and it's hitting my tongue I'm getting the sensation and the flavour of salted caramel. But there's no caramel in it, and there's no saltedness in it. This is a, this is purely and simply the flavours that are bouncing off one another, and it's giving you this third element, if you like. You get A and B, and it creates C. It's not in there, but between them and the tobacco and that, it's, it's created it. Honestly, you will actually love that. I'm surprised if somebody doesn't start having sex with a bottle. Anyway, that's it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Like I said, this is exceptional value for money at just 11 quid, including them two coils. So if you've never done it before, you've got the choice of trying mouth to lung or direct to lung like I've just done. And it produ if, you, if you want to produce a clout, it does. But more importantly, it produces that flavour, and that's what it's really all about, and to get that nice flavours. And that one is superb. Top draw. Right, that's it for this video, folks. Like I said, I'm going to get off now. I've got other things to do. It's now probably about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, but at least I've bypassed Emmerdale and Coronation Street and all that rubbish. Because I can't do it. I cannot do with it. So... I shall love you and leave you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Get over to the Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash juice cabin. Uh, yeah, get on there. Uh, there is also a members buy and sell. You know, we've got equipment and things for sale. So if you're a member, you can go on there and you can, you can sort of swap, 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 buy or whatever. Sell your bits. Uh, there's very, very helpful people on there that answer your questions. And don't forget to subscribe to the other channel, which is Life with Les. And that's for the channel where I'm doing the plants and all the rest of the stuff that I do. The lapidary, orchids, you name it, I do it. But on this channel, it's just vaping. So I shall see you later in the next video. In the meantime, you take care. Adieu.